President Draupadi Murmu, made history with a 30-minute sortie, in a Rafale fighter jet at Ambala, piloted by Group Captain Amit Gihani, becoming the first Indian president to fly in both Rafale and Sukhoi 30 MKI jets. Standing beside squadron leader Shivangi Singh, India's first woman Rafale pilot, once targeted by Pakistani propaganda, Murmu hailed the flight as an unforgettable experience, lauding the IAF's strength in India's rising defense confidence. After NAG MK2 hit targets at 10 kilometers, DRDO is fast-tracking a laser-homing ATGM that builds on the standoff anti-tank guided missile, with range of 15 to 20 kilometers to reach 20 to 25 kilometers when ground-launched and over 30 kilometers air-launched ranges. The design uses semi-active laser guidance, GPS-denied mid-course corrections, and top-attack profiles for long-range all-weather strikes. SANT induction is slated for 2026, under a rupees 1,500 crore program. Prime Toolings released test footage of a dual booster propulsion system for missiles and loitering munitions. The small, synchronized boosters produced stable blue plasma flames, lit in under a second, and showed high efficiency and thermal resilience. Designed to fit compact airframes, the modular units can extend range and endurance of kamikaze drones and missiles. Fully indigenous, the tech promises cheaper, faster mass production for India's growing smart munition needs. The Indian Navy has submitted a detailed case for IAC-2, a 45,000-ton successor to INS Vikrant, featuring advanced UAV integration, 90% indigenous content, and modular readiness for future energy weapons. Expected CCS approval by 2026 could see construction begin by 2027 at Cochin Shipyard, with induction by 2032-34. Replacing INS Vikramaditya, the carrier will bolster India's two-carrier strike capability, ensuring dominance in the Indo-Pacific amid rising Chinese naval activity. India has kicked off Exercise Trishul, a major tri-service war game along the western sector from October 30th to November 10th, marking the first coordinated display of military strength since Operation Sindor, involving 25,000 troops, Rafale and Su-30 MKI jets, Navy warships and indigenous missile systems, the drills aim to test joint combat readiness across land, sea and air. Focused near the Sir Creek Sin Karachi axis, the exercise has reportedly triggered heightened alert levels in Pakistan. In a landmark boost to India's self-reliant defense drive, the Indian Air Force has confirmed plans for 200 Tejas Mk-2 fighters across 10 squadrons, starting with an initial order of 120 jets. Powered by the GF-414 engine and featuring a canard delta design, the Mk-2 will bridge gaps, left by retiring Mirage 2000s and MiG-29s. A new IAF-led weapons integration model will fast-track deployment, with first flights targeted for mid-2026 and full-scale production by 2030. India's Babha Atomic Research Center is developing a 200 megawatts pressurized water reactor to power both civilian container ships and future S-5 class nuclear submarines and Project 77 nuclear attack submarines or SSNs. The new reactor, an upgrade from the 83 megawatts unit on INS Arahant, will boost range, endurance and payload capacity for the Navy's next-gen fleet. Its civilian variant aims to enable emission-free nuclear propulsion for commercial shipping, aligning with India's green maritime and strategic self-reliance goals. In a landmark test off India's Konkan coast, the HAL Tejas has achieved seamless man-on-man -man teaming, commanding two DRDO-developed UAVs in a coordinated maritime strike mission. Conducted by the IAF and DRDO, the October 2025 trial saw the Tejas orchestrate real-time reconnaissance, role swaps and precision attacks via secure data links, 
proving its next-generation loyal wingman doctrine. With indigenous open architecture avionics and AI-driven fusion, Tejas becomes the only light fighter globally, built for true MUMT operations, cementing India's lead in networked autonomous air combat, ahead of rivals like the Gripen and JF-17. India's upcoming 29,000-ton landing platform docks, approved under a Rs. 33,000 crore plan, will be the first Indian warships, powered by Rolls-Royce's 40-megawatt MT-30 gas turbines, with integrated full electric propulsion, developed under a 2024 India-UK pact. The four indigenously built amphibious ships will serve as unmanned motherships and expeditionary command hubs, featuring 60% local content. Keel laying in 2027, targets induction by 2032 to 35, propelling India toward a net zero blue water navy. In a breakthrough for India's AMCA, the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA has perfected its weapon bay door actuation system, a hydraulic marvel enabling split second weapon deployment without compromising stealth. Finalized post 2023 critical design review, the system uses hydromechanical servo controls, titanium torque shafts, and sawtooth bifold doors to maintain radar invisibility while managing Mach 2 plus loads. With over 90% indigenous content, validated in 10,000 endurance cycles, this innovation cements India's leap into the elite league of stealth-engineered airframes, positioning AMCA as a true fifth-generation combat platform by 2028 to 2030. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.